Hello there, I'm assuming you're here because you want to learn how to do something like this. Now, this is pretty easy. Um, it's only going to take a few seconds of your time. So yeah, let's get straight to it. I'm going to open up a new scene here real quick, just to show you in simpler terms. So I'll start off just with a cube, and I'm going to take this cube, and normally when I duplicate, I'd press Shift D, and I would just duplicate it. And now when I edit here, as you can see, we're not getting uh, linked edits over there. So to get linked edits on a duplicate, I'm going to select a cube and then press Alt D. That is the Alt key on your keyboard plus D, or on a Mac, it might be Option. So then I'm just going to slide it this way. So what that happens is it creates a linked copy. So when I go into edit mode and I inset and extrude, we now get this effect. And we can do this as many times as we want, just duplicating the original cube like this. And we can still go back and edit it. And as you can see, we are getting the effect that we want. There are some limitations to this. Like if I add a modifier, like a generate and subsurf, it will not give the other ones a modifier, which is unfortunate. Another thing you can do is you can select the objects that you have duplicated or any of them, one or two or three, it doesn't matter. And then press Alt D again. And you can actually select one of them, edit it. And then for instance, it will all still affect all of the other ones. You don't have to stay with the original. You can edit any of them. And you can also duplicate any of them with Alt D and it will work. Now, if I were to take one of the linked objects and press Shift D, when I go to back to edit, say this one, it will no longer affect this guy right here. This is just a way you can do cool things with modeling and a really quick tutorial to show you how it works. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.